Hi, thanks for tuning in again today. Um, this scenario, uh, this teaching will center around the role of progesterone in breast health, progesterone in breast cancer. Um, a lot of misinformation, I believe, regarding this subject, and we'll deal with it in a few minutes. Uh, for many of you that, that know about us, Len and Joe, my name is Joe DiMatteo. Uh, we do the Ask the Pharmacist radio broadcast, broadcast nationwide, XM satellite radio, uh, Sirius satellite radio as well, and in some local stations around the country. If you're new to us, go to our website at lenandjoe.com. Uh, you can go to mscompounding.com and receive some of the information regarding hormones and some of these approaches that we'll be discussing today. What I want to talk to you about today, progesterone and breast cancer, progesterone in generalized health for women. The um, reason why I want to deal with this, we just did a couple uh, topics regarding mammography, some of the downsides, some of the things that you just um, are not told, uh, unfortunately, uh, that you're not aware of, and we attempted to point that out and bring that uh, to the table. Um, the other area that we talked about was just generic concepts about breast health. That one is also available for your viewing um, on this site as well. Today I want to focus on progesterone and the role of progesterone. Uh, many women are uh, progesterone deficient, and progesterone deficiency can lead to a lot of things. It can encourage estrogen dominance, uh, increased breast cancer risk, contrary to what we're told in the medical community. Um, there's a lot of functional side effects, headaches, premenstrual syndrome, bloating, fluid retention, breast tenderness, the list just goes on um, with estrogen dominant types of situations. What I'm after here today is to counter some of the approaches and some of the information in the medical community that says progesterone, which is then used synonymously with progestogens, which are synthetic progesterones. When I use the word uh, progesterone, I'm meaning that it is absolutely identical to what a woman's body makes. Not a carbon atom moved, not a not a, a ring change, not a methyl group added, all that biochemistry, no changes exactly to what your body makes. When a traditional medical practitioner uses the term uh, progesterone, they use it synonymously with progestogens, medroxyprogesterone, and there's a whole slew of the synthetic versions. Literature has just come out recently that says that progesterone may be implicated in breast cancer when nothing farther from the truth um, is, 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 is actually the truth. Um, the reality of it is progesterone actually counteracts, and I'll give you some literature to support that, estrogen stimulation. A woman is given progesterone in essence to do many things. Another, it is involved in maintaining uh, the uterine wall for pregnancy. Uh, it counteracts estrogen proliferation and stimulation on breast tissue. I will give you that information and documenting that for you. Um, it helps to and is to refer to as the hormone of gestation during pregnancy. It is involved in placental health. Actually, at some point in time, the placenta actually begins to encourage and produce some of its own progesterone. Progesterone is critical. A woman in her third trimester of pregnancy may make up to 400 milligrams a day. In her in her normal cycle, during a typical cycle, she may make anywhere from a minimum of 100 to 200 times the amount of progesterone that she does estrogen. And there's a reason for that. Progesterone counterbalances much of the stimulation that we see that comes from, from the estrogen. So let me give you a couple quick quotes. American Journal of Epidemiology, 1981, documented Cowan, Gordas, Tanasia, and Jones, uh, breast cancer incidents in women with a history of progesterone deficiency. So they documented, they followed women, over a thousand women, uh, from birth through their first incidence of breast cancer. And they followed their uh, treatments for infertility, labs that had been done, their progesterone levels, and here's what they found after following these women, and I'm reading this quickly, uh, over, uh, I was almost literally their, their lifetime. Actually, it says here about a 30-year span. It found that women that had endogenous progesterone deficiency, that means their own body, low level of progesterone, had a 5.4 time increased risk of premenopausal breast cancer that were low in progesterone. Women in the progesterone deficiency group also experienced a tenfold increase in deaths 
from all malignant neoplasms compared to the normal progesterone groups or and the you no know, uh, breast cancer risk. Um, Lancet 2003, January 25th, volume 361, an overview of breast of main outcomes in breast cancer prevention trials done by Cusick, Piles, Verdosi, Forbes, Edwards, Ashley, and Boyle, um, showed some very interesting information as well. We also find that the Journal of Fertility and Sterility in 1998, estrogen progesterone regulates proliferation of human breast cancer cells. We wanted to look at, they said, postmenopausal women with untreated menopause. They actually document that progesterone inhibits the, pro that second article documents a similar component, inhibits the proliferation or the growth of normal breast tissue in vivo in her body as well as breast cancer cells in vitro in a test tube. We explore the possibility that it has an anti-proliferative or an anti-stimulatory effect. That's what progesterone carries in breast cancer cell line due to its ability to induce apoptosis, which means spontaneous cell death. These results demonstrate that progesterone at relatively high physiologic concentrations, but comparable to those seen in plasma during the third trimester of human pregnancy, exhibited a strong anti-proliferative effect on breast cancer cell lines and inducing apoptosis. Now, I don't want to just sit here and read studies to you. What I want to talk to you about is the functional aspects of progesterone and how many obstetricians, many medical practitioners, etc., really do not understand the functional role. Progesterone must be in physiologic concentrations to encourage a physiologically balanced cycle. Um, it will, in physiologic concentrations, counteract this estrogen stimulation that we can have from our own estrogen or from external environmental types of estrogens. Adequate levels of progesterone should be evaluated. How do you evaluate it? A lot of discrepancy here. A lot of folks say there's no way you can only evaluate this through serum. Actually, saliva probably is a better way to do it. Saliva is what we call a direct compartment relationship or membrane to what your tissues are. You have direct relationship between your tissues and your saliva when it comes to hormones. And these hormones that show up in your saliva are compartmentalized. They are a direct reflection of what is in a tissue at that time. What's in the serum as far as hormones go are bound to sex hormone binding globulins. These are unbound hormones. Woman suffers from premenstrual syndrome, has a high risk of breast cancer in her family, has had fibrocystic breast disease, has had a lot of complications with their cycles and, and hormonal imbalances, suffered from infertility, the list goes on. She needs to be evaluated from a salivary standpoint for her progesterone levels. Why? Because inadequate progesterone counter intuitive or counter to what is brought forth in the medical community which basically says that progesterone can induce breast cancer. I'm here to tell you that nothing farther from the truth. Progesterone actually can reduce the incidences. I just read too, I have um, articles um, this is not all completely progesterone, but about three quarters of this is all progesterone related articles and studies in the medical community that goes back into the late 70s, early 80s, two of which I already just quoted for you, one from 2003, one from 1981. Bottom line is, I, I want to dispel some of the myths about progesterone, that it's dangerous, that it'll induce breast cancer, do not compare and do not use in the same sentence or as a synonym that progestogen, synthetic progesterone, is the same as a woman's naturally produced progesterone. They are not one and the same. Um, I'll probably do some further um, teachings on this going forward. I'd like to do more, but for now, we're going to have to break for, for this time. Go to leninjo.com mscompounding.com, review some of this information. Thanks for tuning in. Listen again.